This is the event where the shooters get to choose which goalie they want to go head to head against for 60 seconds. And there's some cash on the line for the netminders here in this one as well, Chris. Yes, it's been all about 12 players so far tonight, but now eight more will be introduced. But before we get to the goaltenders, here are the top eight as we get through the competition and eliminate four. Yeah, and if you're handicapping the first six events, I don't think anybody's surprised it's Connor McDavid at the top. I mean, just his speed and his ability to skate with and without the puck, his accuracy, and he's got the opportunity here going into event number seven. Back to ice level and Kevin Bieksa. Thanks, guys. Well, the first part of this event is making a decision. Who do you want to go against? And you have to think <laughs> for the goaltenders, if they get chosen, there's going to be something personal there, and they're probably going to want to shut the door. So you can see a little bit of a staring staring match right now. There's a little bit of a staring match. <laughs> it is a stare down. You want me? It? You want me? You got me. <laughs> Time to meet the goaltenders. It's time for the NHL All-Star one-on-one. -on -one. Let's meet the All-Star goalies participating in this event. From the Florida Panthers, Sergei Bobrovsky. From the Vancouver Canucks, Patrick Demko. From the Colorado Avalanche, Alexander Georgiev. From the Winnipeg Jets, Connor Hellebuck. From the Dallas Stars, Jake Ottinger. From the New York Rangers, Igor Shesterkin. From the Boston Bruins, Jeremy Swayman. And from the Los Angeles Kings, Cam Talbot. Now, please welcome Sportsnet's David Ember and ESPN's Kevin Weeks. Down to our final eight competitors. And of course, the goalies are here as well. And we're going in reverse order. And we have William Nylander. You're eighth in the standings, but you can make up a lot of ground. We're going to have you pick your goalie. So who do you like? You've been thinking about it. I'm just going to go with Cam Talbot. He's standing right in front of me. So uh, I think that's what I'm picking. You said, you said Cam Talbot? You're staring him down. All right, why Cam Talbot? Because he was standing right in front of me, so I just felt like that was a good choice. All right. All right, the, the local boy, Cam Talbot's ready to take the net against William Nylander. Good luck. I like that strategy by <laughs> Nylander. He's yeah. trying not to uh, insult Cam. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great technique. It's isn't just it? convenient. Yeah, yeah, hey, we're right here. It's, we're the closest to that net. Don't have to make you skate very far. So six pucks, one minute. Let's see what Nylander can do. Been a brilliant year with 61 points so far. Uh, the first pucks are worth one point, and then once you get past those, the ones on the blue line are worth two points each. And there's a minute to get it under. If you get the puck before the minute, you can finish off the last shot. Cam Sun cheering him on. Cam was excited to be back home for this All-Star game, his second appearance. Of course, a native of Caledonia, Ontario. And away goes Nylander, missed the target on the first. Talbot's got the answer on Puck number two. And yeah, that one does leak through, so Nylander's on the board. 88 back to work. Link glove stop by Talbot looking sharp. Nylander goes five hole. Now these are all worth two points for every goal. Oh, he slid across and got it. So three points for Nylander. Still got 30 seconds left. Talbot is able to keep that out. 20 seconds remaining for Nylander. Shovels that back in wide. Job coming in cold for the goaltender and just matching wits here with Nylander. There's one, there's a two five hole. So up to five points for Nylander. And another, and he's got the puck before time runs out. So this puck is still alive. And then, oh, what a finish for William Nylander. Going Peter Forsberg for his final goal. 
But one thing that really stands out, doesn't it, is how long a minute is. Yeah, I mean, is it ever? You think of a, a long shift in an NHL game, you get a line trapped in there for a minute. I think both these combatants are feeling, man, that, that minute was a whole, whole lot longer than it seemed. And there's a beautiful last goal there as Talbot stretches out but can't get the foot on it. So we'll go back for our next matchup with Kevin Weeks. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot, Bucci. I'm here at ice level with Nate the Great, Nate Dog, Nate McKinnon. Nate, I'm not sure who you're looking for here, but I got a sense it's Sergei Brabowski. You good with that? Yeah, he's one of the best ever, so uh, I'll try my luck here. See what I can do. All right, Sergei Brabowski to Florida Panthers. You're up, Bob. Another interesting strategy uh, where you uh, let Kevin Weeks you decide, let Kevin Weeks <laughs> decide <laughs> who you're going to go against. I know the one thing they're trying not to make sure that it doesn't happen is that you have a guy going up against his own goaltender. So with a couple of Vancouver Canucks in there, that'll be interesting with Denver. Broski tied for third and wins with 23. And of course, Nate McKinnon, second in scoring, gets one through there. So. McKinnon on the board. And a slick move to the backhand for Nathan McKinnon. 31 goals, 84 points. And eight goals in his final four games going into the All-Star break. Fumbled that. That's costly because yeah. these are the two-point pucks. These are the ones you got to put in as the doubles. And now there's two already in about, what, 12 seconds that he hasn't been able to take advantage of. Yep. And now he's tired. Nine points. <laughs> Running out of gas here, perhaps, McKinnon. And Bobrovsky's had all the answers, hasn't he? And one last. Bobrovsky stopped. Does he get one more puck or not? I don't think he knew the rule, and he'll pull up with just two, and he'll congratulate Bobrovsky as we rejoin Kevin. Well, it's certainly a long minute for the players, and when you watch them, there's a little bit of a difficulty in being creative because this is like an extended version of a game called Juice Boy that the players like to play. It's usually three pucks, but now you got so many different breakaways that you want to mix it up a little bit. But you can see a lot of these guys, they get into this, the cycle of making the same turn into a bit. So it's just tough to be creative. All right, next up is JT Miller. You know you can't take your teammate Thatcher Demko, so we do want to select to go one-on-one -on -one with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Sway. Yeah, why? Why Sway? Uh, I can't score on any other guys on breakaways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Good luck. Well, Swayman will be tough to beat, too. Third best goals against Stafford so far this year. 2.30, a part of the Jennings Trophy winners in Boston last year. Yeah, what a tandem last year. It's the only tandem to have 40 wins and 20 wins between the two of them. Just an incredible battery there for the Bruins in their record season last year, having another great year this year. 86 so far in the competition, 7.5 point points and 0 for 2 against Swayman so far. There's one. Forehand to the blocker side. And got another through, so two points and headed to the two point box for JT Miller. Got a fan on that. And has under a half minute left. His seventh 20 goal season. And this on pace for his best. Fanned on that last one. Or I think he tried an off speed pitch there, up. yeah. Oh, there's got that way. He got Swayman to go down and just great patience to hold on to it. So four points, maybe two pucks left. There's another, so up to six. Can he get two more shots in or not? He's got to hustle to get got the puck. Got to hustle, and he ran out of time. Well, they're going to give it to him, are they? Doesn't matter. Six points for JT Miller, so William Nylander continues to lead. Well, how about the goalies? You know, they've been sitting watching this whole skills and coming in cold. They've done a pretty good job of being acrobatic.
taking away the lower part and there's one that gets underneath the arm. Good patience by Miller on that one. And the goaltenders, as you mentioned, Chris, going for $100,000, the most saves, and if they're tied, it'll go to the best save percent. Okay, who does Austin Matthews get? All right, we've got hometown boy Austin Matthews, the NHL leader in goal scored. Let's hear you fans. GTA, now you're back. All right, Max, who are you going with? Uh, I'm going to go with Thatcher Demko. Ooh, the big man from Van. All right. Well, that's bold, isn't it? I, I think there's the host making sure that there's no problem about Pedersen having to pick okay. his goaltender being there. He knows the deal. This will be a good battle. Boy, this is as good as it gets. The top goal scorer gets the number two goaltender right now in wins. Number four. There's a Matthews move to the backhand, and he's on the board. Demko stands his ground. 920s save percentage, and such a big presence in that goal. So Matthews. Just one point, and now the two-point pucks with about a half minute to go. What a move. One thing about the two-point pucks, too, is look at how much more room you have to manipulate where the goal is going to go. The ones that are in tight, the goaltender doesn't have to move much. That first play by Matthews just showed that you can get him moving a little more effectively. Up to five points. Got a dozen seconds to go. Next goal will get him into second, and he's got that. And can he tie his teammate, William Nylander? Last puck needs two more. And Demko stretches out. And Matthews left with seven points. He moves into second place. In a one-on-one -on -one competition. Look, look at the breath. I mean, yeah. as he said, you get the feeling that that minute, just your lungs are burning, your legs are burning a little bit too. And, he did a great job there early on of forcing Demko to go down, but that last one that he came in, it is the long legs of Demko able to sort of trap him, didn't have anything left. Next up will be Elias Pedersen. Elias, four goalies to choose from. Two of them are Vesna winners. There's not easy decisions here. Who are you going to go one-on-one -on -one with? Uh, going Jake Ottinger. Jake Andre White, why Jake? Uh, we were at dinner last night, and uh, yeah, a little friend of shirt, so. <laughs> Decide who pays the bill, good luck. Oh, Does that, that mean for... Jake didn't buy, or, <laughs> or maybe he had a few too many? I don't know, Just, that, that's a great reason to do so. Do you think that Dallas and Vancouver are destined for a good playoff battle, Very... the way that their years are going? Very well, could be. Pedersen right now fourth in this competition with 10 points. Ottinger 16, 9, and 2 on the year. Not quite the season he had a season ago. Most robs Pedersen that time. You see on this short rampway here, Ottinger hasn't had to move that much that time. Good double fake there by Pedersen to force that five hole open. Pedersen, 27 goals on the year, just named the third star in January. 14 goals in his last 13, but Ottinger's up to the challenge. So under a half minute to go in the two-point pucks. There's Pedersen taking advantage up to three. Ottinger outweights him that time. Can he get two shots in here? Can he get back to the blue line in time to get another puck before uh, he'll get, at least get one? But this will be the last one for Elias Pedersen. And can't beat Ottinger. He will finish with three. We'll go back to ice level with Kevin. Yeah, here with JT Miller, just talking about how difficult is it to like remain creative with some of these moves. I just kept thinking, make him go down every time if I can, I guess, but 
I am gassed after that. My, my legs are fried. <laughs> what about like uh, get through the first ones and then maybe hit the twos? But like even the ones took a while, didn't they? Like five pucks? Yeah, they, they, yeah. Especially because you get in the habit of uh, going the same direction in a loop. And I think yeah, I try to change it up. But when you do that, you got to cross over and your legs just start seizing. I think everybody's feeling it right now. All right, thanks. All right, here with Matthew Barzell. Barzi, a lot of Islander fans are certainly watching, and a lot of your family are back in Vancouver in that area. Who are you picking here? I'm going to pick my New York counterpart, Igor Shesterkin. Wow. All New York battle. That why? Yeah. He's a good friend of Ilya Sorokin, so it's a good little rivalry we got in New York. <laughs> All right. New York, New York. Got to like that. Islander versus Ranger. Georgiev thought it was him. <laughs> he went, started to go. He said, no, no, it's Shesterkin. So that will likely mean that McDavid gets Georgiev and Hellebuck gets McCarr, unless it's nah, teammate you never against know. teammate. But yeah, you never know. Let's worry about Matt Barzell, who's right now tied for second with the 11 points. Working against a, an old rival in Igor Shesterkin. Like Ottinger, it hasn't been quite the same year as it was last season, but there's the first one for Barzell. Oh, and no, another. That was slick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. He, you know, the first one, just the quick to the forehand and get it up, and there's two backhands, one that went in and one off the post. Okay, the two-point bucks now. And Shesterkin digs in. A little poke check uh, action there. Barzell up to four points. Got 20 seconds remaining. Beauty for Matt Barzell. Yeah, the legs are burning there. You can see him laboring to get back. He can get one more at least for sure. Maybe even two if he can get quickly back there. Currently tied for third and one on one, but Shesterkin shuts the door and they're gonna give him this one more. One last shot, and did it go in? No. Oh, that would have been highlight real material. Again, just huffing and puffing. Barzell, where he had success, is just freezing Shesterkin. Make him, as soon as he makes the little move down, he went forehand once and then backhand up. That's a hard one to react to for a goaltender in so tight. And there's one that backing up Shesterkin equal to the task off the post and out. So he is tied for third. Still two shooters, two goalies left. All right, we have Kale McCarr and Connor McDavid, and the decision's essentially made for you, Kale, because you can't take your goalie, which means you're going to take Connor Hellebuck. What's it going to take to get you past William Nylander? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I have a chance here. So it's. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to try and put pucks in the back of the net and uh, make the fans happy. All right, well, good luck. Don't give up. And Connor McDavid, of course, will be up against Alex Georgiev. Connor. All right. Makar was tied with Barzell with 11 points each, and he draws. Connor Hellebuck having another brilliant season. Tied for third and wins with 23. He's second in goals against and tied for first in save percentage. So mccarr has got his hands full and he probably doesn't get many breakaways, although more than most yeah. defensemen. God, the way he skates and how he joins the rush, he gets plenty of little in tight plays and it'll be interesting to see his skating. Look at the speed. Quick release there beats blocker side. Maybe more shots than and that one got through, so he's got two. Good start for McCarr. Let's see how long he can keep this pace up. Now it's a long yep. skate all the way out to the blue line. Just over a half minute for the two point pucks. And Hellebuck up to the challenge. These are the valuable points, and he's got another stumbled a little bit, but he's up to four. That's like JT Miller was saying about changing your your route. You know, you go the same way the whole time the goalie gets in a rhythm. That time McCarr changed it and he was able to beat him. That's a big stop by Hellebuck. McCarr stuck on four. This likely his last puck as he 
takes a scenic route and a club stop. Hellebuck holds McCarr to just four. And McCarr fifth now with Connor McDavid left. So feel McCarr on the bubble to get points here in the one on one. And you can see the one that just slipped through, but but after that, it's just Hellebuck out so aggressively after he got beat those under the blocker and under the glove. Look at taking away the lower part and then just calmly having that glove in great position and he scoops that one up, gives him a little show. All right, one shooter left, one goaltender. You mentioned Vancouver Dallas do you think yeah. you see this matchup <laughs> you, could you, in the spring? could you see it Edmonton Colorado and I, I just think with McDavid here he's really developed such an ability to make the quick moves in tight and instead of shooting there's a lot where he pulls the goaltender and able to deke around him started what backhanded to the forehand the to beat Georgiev lost the handle on that good poke check there though and fanned on that, set it wide. Georgiev leading the league in wins with 27. McDavid the leader in this competition. But Georgiev digging in. And another great poke check. Johnny Bauer style for Georgiev. Now the two point box and McDavid catches the first. Up to three points. Still got 25 seconds left too. They just, the pace that he's going at, you can take advantage of these two point pucks. They get an extra shot in here, but Georgiev up to the challenge now. And another stop, so McDavid on three points and down to the final 10 seconds. And this perhaps is last. So the final shot for McDavid needs points. And Georgiev, terrific with the stick. Well, you talk about a scouting report as Georgiev, I mentioned how often McDavid is so effective at coming in with speed and getting the goaltender with the deke. And after he got beat on this one underneath the blocker, when McDavid came in, uh, there was many of these. A good job of sliding across, but also three or four poke checks that at least had an effect on McDavid and forced him to try to go a different route. That was a well-played goaltending by Ge Georgiev. Nine stops for Georgiev. He wins $100,000. And Kevin's with the winner of the one-on-one. -on -one. And Willie, we're just talking about you felt like you had a little bit of the advantage because you got to go first. Yeah, I think it's this brand new stick I just got today. That's probably why. <laughs> 75 flex and a really funky curve. What is what's going on with this stick? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've just been using it for a couple of years now, and that's uh, just been sticking with it. Um, and I mean, switch to short last year. I love the sticks. Pretty easy now to go to Sheldon Keith and be like, did you not see what happened? I should be going first in every shootout. I have been missing. <laughs> <laughs> You think Mitchie could do better out here? Uh, Mitchie's really good. He's been he's been silky on the shootout, so probably. Toronto, this is the winner right here, William Nylander. Round of applause.